dieting is the practice of eating food in a regulated and supervised fashion to decrease, maintain, or increase body weight, or to prevent and treat diseases, such as diabetes. A restricted diet is often used by those who are overweight or obese, sometimes in combination with physical exercise, to reduce body weight. Some people follow a diet to gain weight, usually in the form of muscle. Diets can also be used to maintain a stable body weight and improve health. Diets to promote weight loss can be categorized as low-fat, low-carbohydrate, low-calorie, very low-calorie and more recently flexible dieting. 1. Aim at analysis of six randomized controlled trials found no difference between low-calorie, low-carbohydrate, and low-fat diets, with a 2-4 kg weight loss over 12-18 months in all studies. 1. At 2 years. All calorie reduced diet types cause equal weight loss irrespective of the macronutrients emphasized. 2. In general, the most effective diet is any which reduces calorie consumption. 3. A study published in American Psychologist found that short term dieting involving severe restriction of calorie intake does not lead to sustained improvements in weight and health for the majority of individuals. 4. Other studies have found that the average individual maintains some weight loss after dieting. 5. Weight loss by dieting, while of benefit to those classified as unhealthy, may slightly increase the mortality rate for individuals who are otherwise healthy. 6. 7. 8. The first popular diet was Banting, named after William Banting. In his 1863 pamphlet, Letter on Corpulence, addressed to the public, he outlined the details of a particular low-carbohydrate, low-calorie diet that had led to his own dramatic weight loss. 9. History types low-fat, low-carbohydrate, low-calorie, very low. Calorie detox, religious nutrition, how the body eliminates fat weight loss groups, food diary, possible weight loss effects of drinking water prior to meals, fasting side effects, low-carbohydrate versus low-fat, low-glycemic index. He also references further reading external links history. William Banting, popularized one of the first weight loss diets in the 19th century. One of the first dietitians was the English doctor George Cheney. He himself was tremendously overweight and would constantly eat large quantities of rich food and drink. He began a meatless diet, taking only milk and vegetables, and soon regained his health. He began publicly recommending his diet for everyone suffering from obesity. In 1724, he wrote an essay of health and long life, in which he advises exercise and fresh air and avoiding luxury foods. 10. The Scottish military surgeon, John Rollo, published Notes of a Diabetic Case in 1797. It described the benefits of a meat diet for those suffering from diabetes, basing this recommendation on Matthew Dobson's discovery of glycosuria in diabetes mellitus. 11. By means of Dobson's testing procedure, for glucose in the urine. Rolla worked out a diet that had success for what is now called type 2 diabetes. 12. The first popular diet was Banting, named after the English undertaker William Banting. In 1863, he wrote a booklet called Letter on Corpulence, addressed to the public, which contained the particular plan for the diet he had successfully followed. His own diet was four meals per day, consisting of meat, greens, fruits, and dry wine. The emphasis was on avoiding sugar, sweet foods, starch, beer, milk, and butter. Banting's pamphlet was popular for years to come and would be used as a model for modern diets. 13. The pamphlet's popularity was such that the question do you bant, referred to his method, and eventually to dieting in general. 14. His booklet remains in print as of 2007. 9. 15. 16. The first weight loss book to promote calorie counting, and the first weight loss book to become a bestseller, was the 1918 Diet and Health with Key to the Calories by American physician and columnist Lulu Hunt Peters, 17. Types. Further information. List of diets low-fat. Main article. Low-fat diet. Low-fat diets involve the reduction of the percentage of fat in one's diet. Calorie consumption is reduced because less fat is consumed. Diets of this type include NCEP-STEP I and II. A meta-analysis of 16 trials of 2-12 months duration found that low-fat diets without intentional restriction of caloric intake, resulted in average weight loss of 3.2 kg, 7.1 lb, 
Over habitual eating, 1. Low carbohydrate. Main article Low carbohydrate diet. Low carbohydrate diets are relatively high in protein and fats. Low carbohydrate diets are sometimes ketogenic, that is, they restrict carbohydrate intake sufficiently to cause ketosis. Low calorie. Main article Calorie restriction. Low calorie diets usually produce an energy deficit of 500 1. 000 calories per day, which can result in a 0.5 to 1 kilogram, 1.1 to 2.2 pounds, weight loss per week. One of the most commonly used low calorie diets is Weight Watchers. The National Institutes of Health reviewed 34 randomized controlled trials to determine the effectiveness of low calorie diets. They found that these diets lowered total body mass by 8% in the short term, over 3 12 months. 1. Women doing low-calorie diets should have at least 1,000 calories per day and men should have approximately 1,200 calories per day. These caloric intake values vary depending on additional factors, such as age and weight. 1. Very low-calorie. Main article. Very low-calorie diet. Very low-calorie diets provide 200-800 calories per day, maintaining protein intake but limiting calories from both fat and carbohydrates. They subject the body to starvation and produce an average loss of 1.5 to 2.5 kg, 3.3 to 5.5 lb, per week. 2, 4, 6, 8. A popular diet of this variety follows a four day cycle in which only 200 calories are consumed the first day, 400 the second day, 600 the third day, 800 the fourth day, and then totally fasting, after which the cycle repeats. These diets are not recommended for general use as they are associated with adverse side effects such as loss of lean muscle mass, increased risks of gout, and electrolyte imbalances. People attempting these diets must be monitored closely by a physician to prevent complications. 1. Detox. Main article. Detox diet. Detox diets are promoted with unsubstantiated claims that they can eliminate toxins from the human body. Many of these diets use herbs or celery and other juicy low-calorie vegetables. Religious Religious prescription may be a factor in motivating people to adopt a specific restrictive diet. 18. For example, the Biblical Book of Daniel, 1, 2-20, and 10, 2-3, refers to a 10 or 21-day avoidance of foods, Daniel fast, declared unclean by God in the laws of Moses, 18, 19. In modern versions of the Daniel fast, food choices may be limited to whole grains, fruits, vegetables, pulses, nuts, seeds, and oil. The Daniel fast resembles the vegan diet in that it excludes foods of animal origin. 19. The passages strongly suggest that the Daniel fast will promote good health and mental performance. 18. Fasting is practiced in various religions. Examples include Lent and Christianity, Yom Kippur, Tisha B'Av, Fast of Esther, Tzom Judalia, the 17th of Tammuz, and the 10th of Tevas in Judaism. 20. Muslims refrain from eating during the hours of daytime for one month, Ramadan, every year. Details of fasting practices differ. Eastern Orthodox Christians fast during specified fasting seasons of the year, which include not only the better known Great Lent, but also fasts on every Wednesday and Friday, except on special holidays. Together with extended fasting periods before Christmas, the Nativity Fast, after Easter, the Apostles Fast, and in early August, the Dormition Fast. Members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Mormons, generally fast for 24 hours on the first Sunday of each month. Like Muslims, they refrain from all drinking and eating unless they are children or are physically unable to fast. Fasting is also a feature of ascetic traditions and religions such as Hinduism and Buddhism. Mahayana traditions that follow the Brahma's Net Sutra may recommend that the laity fast during the six days of fasting each month and the three months of fasting each year. Brahma's Net Sutra, Minor Precept 30. Members of the Baha'i faith observe a 19-day fast from sunrise to sunset during March each year. Nutrition. Weight loss diets that manipulate the proportion of macronutrients low-fat, low-carbohydrate, etc., have been shown to be no more effective than diets that maintain a typical mix of foods with smaller portions and perhaps some substitutions. For example, low-fat milk, or less salad dressing. 21. 
Extreme diets may, in some cases, lead to malnutrition. The Dietary Guidelines for Americans is a set of recommendations about a healthy diet written for policy makers, nutrition scientists, and dietitians and other clinicians, produced by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. In concert with the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and Quintanily Revised, the current guidelines are written for the period 2015 to 2020 and were used to produce the MyPlit recommendations on a healthy diet for the general public. One of the most important things to take into consideration when either trying to lose or put on weight is output versus input. It is important to know the amount of energy your body is using every day, so that your intake fits the needs of one's personal weight goal. Someone wanting to lose weight would want a smaller energy intake than what they put out. There is increasing research-based evidence that low-fat vegetarian diets consistently lead to healthy weight loss and management, a decrease in diabetic symptoms 22, as well as improved cardiac health 23. How the body eliminates fat When the body is expending more energy than it is consuming, for example when exercising, the body's cells rely on internally stored energy sources, such as complex carbohydrates and fats, for energy. The first source to which the body turns is glycogen, by glycogenolysis. Glycogen is a complex carbohydrate, 65% of which is stored in skeletal muscles and the remainder in the liver, totaling about 2,000 kcal in the whole body. It is created from the excess of ingested macronutrients, mainly carbohydrates. When glycogen is nearly depleted, the body begins lipolysis, the mobilization and catabolism of fat stores for energy. In this process fats, obtained from adipose tissue, or fat cells, are broken down into glycerol and fatty acids, which can be used to generate energy. 24. The primary byproducts of metabolism are carbon dioxide and water. Carbon dioxide is expelled through the respiratory system. Weight loss groups. Some weight loss groups aim to make money, others work as charities. The former include Weight Watchers and Peer Trainer. The latter include Overeaters Anonymous and groups run by local organizations. These organizations' customs and practices differ widely. Some groups are modeled on 12-step programs, while others are quite informal. Some groups advocate certain prepared foods or special menus, while others train dieters to make healthy choices from restaurant menus and while grocery shopping and cooking. Food Diary a 2008 study published in the American Journal of Preventive Medicine showed that dieters who kept a daily food diary, or diet journal, lost twice as much weight as those who did not keep a food log, suggesting that if you record your eating, you would be more aware of what you eat and, therefore you wouldn't eat as many calories. 25. Possible Weight Loss Effects of Drinking Water Prior to Meals Main Article Weight loss effects of water A 2009 review found that existing limited evidence suggested that encouraging water consumption and substituting energy-free beverages for energy-containing beverages, that is, reducing caloric intake, may facilitate weight management. A 2009 article found that drinking 500 milliliters of water prior to meals for a 12-week period resulted in increased long-term weight reduction, references given in main article. Fasting Main article Fasting Fasting is when there is a long time interval between the meals. In dieting, fasting is not recommended. Instead, having small portions of food after small intervals is encouraged. Lengthy fasting can also be dangerous due to the risk of malnutrition and should be carried out only under medical supervision. During prolonged fasting or very low-calorie diets the reduction of blood glucose, the preferred energy source of the brain, causes the body to deplete its glycogen stores. Once glycogen is depleted the body begins to fuel the brain using ketones, while also metabolizing body protein, including but not limited to skeletal muscle, to be used to synthesize sugars for use as energy by the rest of the body. Most experts believe that a prolonged fast can lead to muscle wasting, although some dispute this. The use of short-term fasting, or various forms of intermittent fasting have been used as a form of dieting to circumvent this issue. Side Effects while there are studies that show the health and medical benefits of weight loss, a study in 2005 of around 3,000 Finns over an 18-year period showed that weight loss from dieting can result in increased mortality. While those who maintain their weight fared the best, 6, 8, 26, similar conclusion is drawn by other studies, 6, 27, 
And although other studies suggest that intentional weight loss has a small benefit for individuals classified as unhealthy, it is associated with slightly increased mortality for healthy individuals and the slightly overweight but not obese. 7. This may reflect the loss of subcutaneous fat and beneficial mass from organs and muscle in addition to visceral fat when there is a sudden and dramatic weight loss. 8. Low carbohydrate versus low fat. Low carbohydrate and low fat diets perform similarly in the long term as weight maintenance depends on calorie intake, not macronutrient ration. 28. Low glycemic index. The glycemic index, GI, factor is a ranking of foods based on their overall effect on blood sugar levels. The diet based around this research is called the low GI diet. Low glycemic index foods, such as lentils, provide a slower, more consistent source of glucose to the bloodstream, thereby stimulating less insulin release than high glycemic index foods, such as white bread. 29. 30. The glycemic load is the mathematical product of the glycemic index and the carbohydrate amount. 31. In a randomized controlled trial that compared four diets that varied in carbohydrate amount and glycemic index found complicated results. 32. Diet 1 and 2 were high carbohydrate, 55% of total energy intake. Diet 1 was high glycemic index. Diet 2 was low glycemic index. Diet 3 and 4 were high protein, 25% of total energy intake. Diet 3 was high glycemic index. Diet 4 was low. Glycemic index diets 2 and 3 lost the most weight and fat mass. However, low density lipoprotein fell in diet 2 and rose in diet 3. Thus, the authors concluded that the high carbohydrate, low glycemic index diet was the most favorable. A meta analysis by the Cochrane Collaboration concluded that low glycemic index or low glycemic load diets led to more weight loss and better lipid profiles. However, the Cochrane Collaboration grouped low glycemic index and low glycemic load diets together and did not try to separate the effects of the load versus the index. 33. See also. Body Image Carbon Footprint Eating Disorder Food Fatism High Residue Diet List of Diets National Weight Control Registry Nutrigenomics Nutrition Psychology Nutrition Scale Nutritional Rating Systems Online Weight Loss Plans Superfood Table of Food Nutrients Underweight